Hi everyone, this is Ling Li from China Mobile. Welcome to joining me in this presentation from orchestration towards automation. In the next 15 minutes, follow me to find out what is behind the automation phenomenon, why we believe it is important to NFV evolution, and how we could collaborate moving forward. During the last two years, there has been a phenomenal attraction in the industry for autonomous networks or network automation. Starting from 2019, shortly after TN Forum's publication of its first white paper on autonomous networks, a series of work items has been launched in various SDOs to study or specify what is autonomous network, what are its use cases, and how to classify its levels. A year later, the TN Forum kicked off the Marty SDO coordination efforts for autonomous networks, and leading CSPs started announcing their ambitious goals to realize autonomous networks, including China Mobile. Instead of waiting the industry to converge slowly and provide research the full stack of solutions, we have been accelerating our internal exploration and evaluation for realizing autonomous networks and starting from this year. Be the change you want to see in the world. Inside China Mobile, we are following TN Forum's three layers approach by dividing uh, the operation management into business, service, and resource layers. To achieve the goal of reaching level four by 2025, we are currently working on two front ends in parallel. Internally, operation automation targeting the service operation has been our focal point, in which we build dozens of enhanced capabilities for automatic optimizing the design, planning, construction, as well as other operational and maintenance processes. At the same time, centralized data lakes and cloud AI platforms are also in construction. Externally, we are also working with various industry collaboration organizations for outsourcing upper layer business and lower layer resource automation innovations that would interwork with and benefit from the extended intelligent operation platform in the middle. Now to address why this is all relevant to NFE, everyone, be prepared for a much longer story. Just kidding. To cut a long story short, automation is a, in fact a necessity for NFV as well. Eight years ago, since its incubation, NFV has been considered as an essential tool for realizing network automation. As a matter of fact, according to these quotes, almost all the self X capabilities for autonomous domain, which is the building block for autonomous networks by definition had been documented in the first NFV white paper as expected application use cases for NFV adoption. Moreover, from the other side, automation was predicted as the major challenge for NFV to scale in production at that time which unfortunately has become the reality as NFE manifests itself as one of the major drivers towards network operation for CSPs adopted in scale, like us. In particular, as we found from a regional branch, with the large-scale adoption of NFE for our 4G and 5G core construction, the operation staff for core network excluding those for DC OAM, got more than doubled in the last three years, while the rest of the operational personnel remains largely unchanged. 
To be clear, this is not the change that we wanted to see in the first place. So, you may wonder, what went wrong, or what we could do to make it right. Well, to answer that, we believe we need first figure out what we do want to see in the first place. Specifically, we believe there are two dimensions of requirements for a telecom operator to automate its network management in order to realize the goal for network operation. From the spectral dimension, the functional enhancement for AI introduction as well as interface simplification are envisioned. From the perspective of functional enhancements, we need firstly solidify manual experience in the network management, various network domains and infrastructure domains to form static rules to introduce automated closed loop that could be executed automatically by the system without manual interference in real time. Secondly, expand the existing original data collection systems, uh, which are currently scattered in different layers and domains to enable real-time perception, covering network KPI, end-to-end -end service SLA, and customer user experience. That would constitute a cross-layer collaborative network perception domain. And finally, provide a systematic approach to introduce big data and AI technology to help or replace human in producing metadata that governs automatic closed loops in a system. In the same time, from the perspective of interface simplification, firstly, as we said, rules are used to simplify management interfaces at each layer to drive closed loops. And secondly, the access, aggregation, storage and distribution of network data or aggregated information or derived information knowledge are managed uniformly according to the operator's strategy. And finally, the management interfaces is further simplified by automatic conversion from upper layer intent into lower layer rules and provide feedback on intent fulfillment in device in a reverse direction. On the other hand, the introduction of AI technology in autonomous networks and the complexity of network management itself combined together would dictate mechanisms for continuous iteration and gradual improvement in the time dimension. To be more specific, we are expecting a spiral for network automation evolution. Besides the well understood horizontal ladder from autonomous levels definition, in terms of the degree of automation regarding execution, awareness, analysis, decision, intent, etc., there is another key enabling factor, which is the vertical DevOps loop. It is actually root from the data-driven characteristics of modern AI technology, as well as the dynamics resultant from service diversity and agility that we would envision our automated network provided to the customer. The rules, the knowledge, the algorithms embedded in various management processes which require constant monitoring, re-adaptation, and iteration in order to follow the dynamics of the network, business, customers, they're running or serving or representing to remain alive. Similar to the general automation ladder we showed earlier, here comes the NFV version. To start with, Basic automation orchestration processes makes manual an essential part of a bigger autonomous domain as one of the automated execution engines. With the addition and exposure of standard imperative policies or rules, in other words, 
manner would further improve the efficiency of operation, and the system can stimulate the operator to automatically deal with the foreseeable situation as specified in these rules. More advanced autonomous management can enable the system through declarative intent interface on the premises that the operator fully trusts and delegates the responsibility to the manual system. So last but not the least, to establish the trust uh, gradually and also allow the intelligence of the network evolves with both the internal and the external dynamics, Manu would be and could be playing a key role in enabling the resource automation or business automation for AI ops in autonomous networks. Therefore, without surprise, automation or even autonomy ranks the top of the list of areas to be addressed inside NFBISG for the next iteration. As a matter of fact, as early as 2017, besides the initial focus on orchestration as part of execution automation, IFAR started the study on imperative policy use cases in NFB domain which is followed by a series of um, study items and work items in intent and DevOps as well, starting from last year. And moving forward, we believe it is equally or even more important for us to observe, position, and converge in the overall landscape with others working on autonomous networks as well. The reason behind is instead of creating new technical trimlines for each domain, which would not scale in higher levels of autonomous network, from the perspective of intended standard consumers, we are convinced that the active participation of iStream members in autonomous network multi-SDO collaboration to actively exchange information for domain-specific use cases, um, for generalized functional or interworking requirements, etc., and identify potential conjunction points for formal creation would be a key enabler for resource automation and setting basis for further automations on the management layers on this top. In particular, three work items have been kicked off in a technical thread hosted by TN Forum, which is open to anyone, including the steel landscape intended for a joint map for cross-organizational collaboration. And from our experience along the way, network automation is not only the collaboration between the operator, personnel, and any subsystem of the network or its management plan. It is truly about the trust and delegation from people who own the network, run the network, to the people who collectively build the complicated software system to take over. More importantly, the envisioned closed loops are spanning beyond the boundary of any single SDO. In other words, autonomous network standardization would be requiring collaboration between SDOs. So, Come and explore the field of autonomous networks in NFV context and join us in broader industrial collaboration, which is not only about paying off the technical debts of existing NFV deployment, but also key to secure its wider deployment and further application in the future. Be the change you want to see in the world. And with that, 
I conclude my presentation here today. Thank you so much for staying with us.